I love so far so I'm going to be priming my face with the Nivea Pro Shave Balm in Sensitive so that way all my makeup will stay on all day flawlessly. And then I'm going to go ahead and do some minor concealing with the Maybelline Master Conceal in 20 Light. I am going to be going under my under eyes as well just to get rid of those dark circles. And then I'll be blending it out with a damp, real technique sponge. And excuse this next part of the video, my mom had called me and I had to get up to answer my phone. So you guys see my pajamas and see that it's all smoking new. And then I had to have a little dance party, obviously. And then I'm going to go in with my two favorite foundations, which are the Too Faced Born This Way in Vanilla and the L'Oreal True Match in N1. I mix these two just because I'm not really either shade. I'm like right in between and I haven't had time to really be tanning lately. <laughs> and I just you know, dab and swap that all over my face and then I will blend it out with a flat top kabuki brush from Wet n Wild. Which is dirty as always. <laughs> take a chapstick break obviously and then I'm going to go in with the master conceal in 10 fair to do my highlighting I'm going to do that under my eyes in a triangle down the bridge of my nose in between my eyebrows and on my chin and then I will blend it out once again with the damp real technique sponge And then I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Stick in 330. I think this is Caramel Toffee is the technical name for it. And this is what I use to cream contour. I think foundations and concealers, since they're meant to blend out really well, are usually the best way to go. If I don't use this, I usually use the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation in my darker self-tan shade, just because it makes a really natural, nice contour. Cream contours are a lot more natural than a structured powder contour, I have to say. So I'm going to go on my regular place on my cheeks and then around my forehead because I have a pretty large forehead and I like to make it look a little smaller. I don't go under my chin or my nose. I don't touch those places because my nose would look really funky and I don't really need a dark line under my chin. And I am going to blend this out with a stippling brush from e.l.f. This one is just from e.l.f. It's a small stippling brush. Use whatever brush you'd like. I do have to say stippling brushes are usually the best way to do this and then I will go over it with my Real Techniques sponge just to make sure that it's not cakey and there's no excess product sitting on my face. And 
that I'm going to zoom you guys in because I'm going to go in and bake my concealer, which is when you let a loose translucent powder sit on your concealer for a while and really set it. So I'm going to take my Real Techniques sponge and I'm going to dip it into the product and I do dab off a little bit at the beginning. And I just place that right under my eyes and anywhere I put that concealer. And as you can see, I kind of build it so that way. There's a lot down there and it really, really sets your concealer and makes it look absolutely flawless. And then I will go under my contour just to make it a little sharper and to clean it up because I do realize with cream contouring things can get a little messy. Even with powder contouring they get messy so this is a great way to clean things up. And as you can see it looks a little crazy. I think it looks crazy. <laughs> so yeah you definitely just let it sit on your face for a few minutes. I usually fill in my eyebrows as you guys will see while it sits or bakes, cooks, whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows really quickly. We're going to just zoom through that because I have an eyebrow tutorial up. I don't do anything any differently. I like to keep my eyebrows pretty natural. And then once I have those filled in, I usually just have a tiny dance party. And then I get just any powder brush that will really take it. I usually use this tapered highlighting brush from Sigma and just dust away all that excess powder. And then I am going to set that contour with the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. This is in, in Dolce De Leche because it's more of a cool town bronzer. And since this contour shade, the cream contour I used was a little too warm, I like to just make things look a little more neutral and not so warm. So that way it's not so muddy. But I don't like too cool because I don't like to look dead. And I will just set all my contouring and then blend it all out because I don't like to look too structured and then another dance party. And then I took my favorite elf flush in Twinkle Pink and I probably need to get another one because I have hit pan and this one's probably like a year old. But I'm in no rush. And I'm just going to put my blush on. You guys have seen it quite a few times. And then I am going to take my new love right now is the Benefit What's Up Highlighter. And I do kind of use it on a brush. This brush is from Walgreens. It's a Studio 35 brush. Um, it came in a rosy cheek set I picked up the other week, and I'm really enjoying it. It's great for highlighting. It kind of reminds me of that Anastasia brush that I won't buy because it's like 40 bucks. Well, actually, it's 23 but I mean, I don't feel like dealing out $23 for one brush when I got five for 10 <laughs> And these brushes are actually really, really nice. And I'm just going to highlight regular places. And just show you guys how much I love my new highlighter. And then I'm going to take my Naked One. This is what I used on my eyes today. And I'm just going to highlight under my brow and in my inner corner. So I hope you guys enjoyed this cream contouring video. Let me know your favorite products to contour down below. And I'll see you next time.